So what I'd like you to do is just find a comfortable, comfortable posture right now. Maybe a posture that you feel a little dignity in your body. Uncross your legs and cross your arms if they happen to be crossed. And then take one hand and just place it on your sternum here, on your chest. Take another hand and kind of place it on top of the belly button, right, on your abdomen. Now, try not to change your breath at all. Just breathe like you normally would. One hand's on your chest, one hand's on your abdomen. But try not to change your breath with your just breathing. And what I want you to uh, become aware of right now is which hand is moving more as you breathe? Just noticing which hand is moving more. Now what I'd like you to do is just take your top hand and put it back on your lap. Keep your bottom hand right where it is. Now on your next inhalation, try to breathe in a way where your hand moves away from your spine. And on your exhalation, allow your hand to move back towards your spine. So inhale, pressing the abdomen forward. And exhaling, allow the hand to drop back. And I'll just talk with you one more cycle. Inhale, the hand moves away from the spine. And exhaling, the hand moves closer, closer to your spine. Four more rounds on your own. Eyes open or closed, your choice. And then when we finish, just relax your hands on your lap. If your eyes go closed, go ahead and open up your eyes. So a couple things that we do is this was an intentional, conscious, focused breath, right? You were thinking about it, you were making it happen. And so when you do this regularly, as you're moving through a yoga practice or whatever fitness, you're staying aware of your breath, you're staying present, once again, it'll, 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 it'll resonate on the, in, in your career, in your professional life, out on the emergency scene. And so, a lot of things we do in the fire service, we, we, bring, we bring meaning to things we do, right? And so, when you take your hand and put it over your heart, what you're really doing is, this is where your courage comes from, from your heart. The root word of courage is core, which is uh, corazon in Latin, which is heart, right? So our courage, one of our core values for most of our fire departments, I think. Then over your stomach, what's that? Your gut, right? Your intuition, right? So you're interlinking those two things, and you're kind of taking this out of it. You're focusing on your gut and intuition, two things that you use regularly throughout your career. And if you don't, this will help you start to use those things during that time when it's needed. So what's the mechanism behind increasing heart health and heart rate variability? It's activation of the vagus nerve. How many people already know this about deep diaphragmatic breathing activates the vagus nerve? Right? This is how yoga becomes a tool and not religious. Right? This is how it becomes one of the most important tools you have because all of us Although breathing is involuntary, we can make it voluntary and change our stress response in just three minutes. So the vagus nervous system, right, it's, it's really literally the hard wire between your brain and your body. I remember when I, you know, I, start, I told you before, I, I started yoga right out of college, there was a lot in the beginning of this and this, and I really just didn't get this gesture. But when I, when I, understood the vagus nerve, I thought, oh, the, the brain and the body, the head and the heart, they are hardwired together. So when you breathe with your diaphragm, <coughs> it activates the vagus nerve. And when the vagus nerve is activated, guess what else is activated? Your body's rest and digest response. So even if you're having a stressful day, you can begin to tell your brain, hey, everything is fine by breathing with your diaphragm. Notice when you're stressed, most of us suck our stomach in. We just breathe in the upper lobes of the lungs here. Breathing with your diaphragm is not a way that you breathe when you're stressed, right? So you can immediately start to change your body's physiology by learning how to breathe with your belly.